Welcome back. Uh, now time to delve into our face, first major conversation. We have uh, Paul G. Mayer, Global Affairs Analyst, standing by. Uh, but let's quickly inform you that uh, rising above partisan politics or you know, personal relationships, over 80 senators uh, in Nigeria across political parties and a majority of House of Representatives members yesterday agreed to uh, commence impeachment proceedings against President Muhammad Buhari if the growing insecurity across the nation persists beyond six weeks, uh, being the ultimatum handed the government before the legislature shut down till September 20, uh, 2022. Now, the decision was taken after their respective closed door sessions uh, before the commencement of plenary, uh, presided over by the Senate President Ahmed Lawan, who also uh, charged the security agencies to do more in order to stop the terrorists and the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Idris Wase. Um, but the presidency uh, last night reacted to the reported move uh, by the Senate to commence impeachment moves against President Muhammad Buhari, advising the senators to stop playing to the gallery like their counterparts in the United States. Otherwise, staging a walkout was uh, performative and babyish. Uh, it's uh, interesting to see them refer to the counterparts in the United States. We have joining us uh, to discuss this uh, global affairs analyst, Paul Ejime, who is uh, joining us live via Zoom in the nation's capital, Abuja. Um, Mr. Ejime, thank you very much for your time. I think uh, uh, you being in Abuja is a perfect uh, way for us to uh, be able to feel the pulse of the nation uh, through your analysis. Before we get to the heart of the matter, uh, the federal government, in its reaction to this issue, um, you know, urged the the senators and House of Representatives not to be babyish, and they referred to the American um, uh, Congress, U.S. Congress. Is this a smart thing to say, looking at you know the the relationship between America and Nigeria? Um. So thank you, uh, Kofi, for having me. Uh, it's uh, drizzling here with some little rain, so um, I'm well in hope that um, uh, there will be sunshine later in the day and less um, protest and less uh, walkout. Now to the um, uh, reaction of uh, the presidency. You are asking me to uh, comment on, uh, I think um, one of those uh, statements came from a colleague um, so I, I wouldn't um, begin to delve um, into that. I know they are doing their job, or so they will say. But what is happening to Nigeria today in terms of insecurity is not childish. In fact, we, we can say that we are in a perilous uh, situation in terms of uh, physical insecurity, social insecurity, and uh, even food insecurity. A loaf of bread that you used to buy, um, maybe 500, 200, is now going for 1,000. And then everywhere, um, insecurity is there that um, Abuja that used to be um, the same heaven. Uh, remember that at one point, the senators or lawmakers will tell you that they are not able to go to their villages because of insecurity. Now, um, if the, uh, the, the, the chicken is coming up to roost and everybody is afraid, it shows that there is something that we should all be concerned about. It's not just about the presidency or the National Assembly. I think this is um, a Nigerian a national issue. Security is a collective issue that everybody should be concerned about. Um, uh, talk about Nigerians. Uh, what about those who foreigners who might want to? And we are talking about um, we in, um, investors. How can they come to Nigeria when we uh, Nigerians are not safe in our place? Mm. Uh, this this talk of impeachment is a, a very grave one. Do you think that uh, uh, the the current state of affairs, the performance of the president, the mood of the nation calls for such talk? at this time? Is this what the members of the National Assembly should be discussing? Looking at the mood of the nation, uh, does the performance and the gravity of the situation also call for such talk, for the use of such words? Impeachment is somehow uh, uh, rarely used, you know, amongst uh, the polity or in the polity, except it's absolutely necessary. Is it necessary at this time? Well, in politics, um, 
a fair game. There's everything goes, uh, just like in warfare. But but yeah, uh, remember they have issued this, and then they are also going on research for. I think almost the same amount of uh, um, weeks that they have issued this um, um, automatum, and then you begin to ask uh, why this time, why did they wait, and what is the um, uh, appropriate? You know, is it appropriate at this time? I think security is um, an issue that is serious. Uh, whether you can get it through impeachment is another matter, but I think that they, as uh, lawmakers, they are elected to secure government. They are part of government, if you ask me. To secure, and the role of government, the responsibility of government, is to secure the welfare and security of citizens. And um, when a government cannot do that, and they are part of it, they are the ones that, um, uh, uh, looking into appropriation. I heard one of them saying, well, they have given the government all that they needed, but did they follow up? What has happened to the money that they have uh, 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 allocated or they have appropriated? If money were not were misused, what did they do in terms of their oversight uh, functions? to make sure to call people to order. I haven't seen them uh, hold any session to say, listen, uh, when, during our oversight, we noticed that money has not been properly used. We are now calling on such a person to account. I haven't seen that. So I think everybody is complicit. It is not just the presidency, uh, even not Nigerians, Nigerians, those who are holding positions of uh, leadership at any, any level. We have uh, failed in this nation, and I think we owe it a duty, the presidency, the legislature, the judiciary, and other citizens to pull back, to get this country back from the precipice. Because otherwise, we're talking of, about election next year. The way things are going, um, it is dangerous, and um, it's not, it doesn't vote well for the kind of democracy, for the kind of Nigeria has been made as the, uh, you know, most populous black nation. As a country that is uh, considered a regional power in West Africa, Africa is looking up to Nigeria to show leadership. The world is looking up to Nigeria to show leadership. I don't think Nigeria is showing leadership in the way security is being managed. I know uh, terrorism and all that is a global issue, but let people be seen to be doing their job. You know, the, the assembly, uh, the government, are the, are the three arms of government, and then ordinary Nigerians. When you are given a task, carry it out um, with patriotism and responsibility. I think we are all failing. And then this the chicken is not coming home to roost. We need to pull back and then uh, re-examine there's time for reality check because Nigeria cannot, this is not sustainable. Nigeria cannot continue this way. Hmm. All right. So, uh, um, uh, we look at the fact that 80 senators um, are on this impeachment train, and this is uh, across party lines. So, it's a bipartisan uh, ambition or bipartisan threat, if you want to call it that. And we're told from the reports that the majority of the membership of the House of Representatives are also on board with this view that if the president cannot solve the security problems in the country in the next six weeks, um, that uh, they will commence impeachment proceedings against him. Now, how real is this, this threat? Looking at the, the, the number of those who are on board, do you think it's um, something that is possible to happen in the next six weeks? Do you think the president should, should take this uh, threat seriously? Because no president in the history of Nigeria has been impeached. Well, you may ask the question. This administration, uh, the president they are trying to impeach, impeach has a, a couple of months to stay. And then you will say, if you remove him, who do you replace him with? And then what will the person, or how, what is the person going to do? You probably have another APC person and uh, the ruling government um, having uh, to step in. And um, so it, it is not really about uh, uh, this assembly has not acquitted 
itself creditably. Remember before now, this was an assembly that even said that um, uh, whatever the president brings, they, you know, they will uh, approve. Uh, many have called their names as uh, Robert Camp and then um, uh, regime um, stabilizing uh, assembly. Are they just waking up to their responsibility? Is it not too late in the day? I think they have now to, um, I don't know where, whether the figure you are, you are talking about 80. Remember we have, um, uh, you know, is it a hundred of them? If um, uh, uh, the AT are doing that, do they have the capacity? And is it what the country needs now? Perhaps they are trying to show their constituency that they are concerned, that they are doing something. Or like somebody said, maybe um, they are not feeling the heat. That is why they are, they are taking this precipitate action. But it was long in coming. Um, a threat to any part of Nigeria is a threat to Nigeria. It doesn't matter whether it's in the northeast, in the northwest, in the north central, or in the east, or the, or the west. This thing has been going on for a long time, and then they didn't uh, talk about this. Do they have the capacity to do that? That is the issue. And is that what the, is that the solution? I think. Instead of uh, thinking about or uh, zeroing in on uh, just uh, one section of government, the presidency, let everybody put on their thinking caps. Everybody has failed. Both, like I said, both the um, executive arm, the legislative arm, and then the judicial arm. So I think let all put hands together to get back, recover Nigeria from uh, the bandits, from uh, 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 those who are trying to take it uh, from us. And Nigeria can do that. Nigeria has uh, the, 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 the power, the military power, and then the means to do that. Um, so we begin to question the, the, uh, maybe the commitment of everybody, whether the ruling party or the opposition. The op we need um, a vibrant opposition to put government on, uh, on their toes. But you can't do that. You don't wait until seven years and, um, you know, six months or whatever to begin to wake up from, uh, from um, uh, uh, sleep. I think it's too late in the day. Let us think about how we can survive. It's a distinction issue that Nigeria is talking about. The, the, the existence of Nigeria is at stake. You know, if the federal capital becomes uh, insecure, then what is left of uh, the rest of the country? If uh, uh, terrorists can be threatening the government, threatening the president, they can be attacking the, the, um, the, the uh, uh, guards, and need a, a call of uh, guarding the president. If they can, um, you know, release prisoners from a uh, 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 correctional um, uh, center in Abuja, if uh, they are causing people to now uh, rethink about coming to Abuja, then something is wrong. I think everybody should wake up. I don't think impeachment will solve it. Um, let us, let everybody, all arms of government and Nigerians as a whole, uh, rescue Nigeria from itself. All right. Uh, will it be fair to say that, um, like you've said, you know, uh, these uh, uh, senators and House of Representatives members uh, are, are simply just trying to, you know, uh, give the impression to their constituents that they are still there and they are on top of the, the game and they are doing something about the situation. Um, uh, even though it's late in the day, you've said it all, sir, that it's an excess potential threat we face as a nation with terrorists uh, roaming, you know, the forests and bushes and the communities around Abuja uh, and in the FCT as a whole. Um, is it too late to save, save the nation from, from collapse? Because if they take over Abuja and they, <laughs> they take over Asurok, then they've taken over the nation. That's the seat of power. So is it too late? If these senators and House of Reps members uh, perceive that things are getting out of hand fast, is it too late to ask, act, even though it's uh, a few months to the termination of the president's tenure? 
in May 2023? No, it depends on what action you are taking. Uh, if now you have lost uh, six, six weeks, remember they have given six weeks and they have gone on a break, on reset. So by the time they come, uh, the government will be getting closer to it, uh, the time it will hand over. But let's uh, watch it. We are talking about election. If there is no security, there probably will not be an election. So it is so serious. It is so perilous. We are living in perilous times that we need to do, you know, whatever is possible to recover Nigeria from the hands of these um, these um, armed groups that have taken control. That everybody is paying, families are paying money to, to get back uh, uh, their, their family members that have been uh, 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 kidnapped. Those that have been kidnapped from, um, you know, the Abuja, Lego, uh, the Kaduna uh, train, you saw videos of how they, the trauma they are going through. People being, um, you know, flogged like that. It doesn't work. And this is showing, if you saw this to the whole world, it doesn't speak well of Nigeria. And you will be ashamed. It's a national embarrassment for you to go and tell your people that you are from Nigeria. And they will show you when well, you are in Nigeria. Look at what is happening. Is it, can you, are you telling me that Nigeria, with all it has, with all its people and resources, has, cannot, will not be able to, to arrest this uh, kind of, uh, 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 you know, movement into, into anarchy? I mean, and then you, you begin to ask yourself, where are we? What is happening? So, no uh, decision, no action is too late, but impeachment, it takes a very long time, and they will be playing politics with it. It's the politics that is involved there that uh, should be removed. This is not the case of APC or PDP or Labour Party. When uh, these people come, they have shown that they can kidnap anybody, and when the bullet is fired, it does not respect their political parties. So insecurity does not respect anybody. You can have all the all the um, um, uh, security details, you, but you cannot go, go with them to to sleep. There are these people decide to strike when you leave the spread. So everybody should be on their toes, particularly those that have been that have, uh, were elected. Those that campaign and ask to be given power, they owe it a duty. They have a responsibility to live up to their constitutional responsibility of protecting the well-being and life security of Nigerians. If they are not doing that, history will judge them, not just this time. Posterity will be hard on them okay. that they failed. And it is on their watch that all these things happen. Okay. This assembly cannot um, uh, excuse itself that um, in the presidency. It's not, it's not the time for um, uh, finger pointing. Everybody should come to the table and bring ideas about how to rescue Nigeria from those who have, are trying to take it from us. All right. All we right. are in a very bad shape. All right. And it's not good for our humans. It's not good uh, for whatever as a nation. All right. We, we, um, we, we, others will just be laughing at us. It is embarrassing. It's a national embarrassment. Okay. And we need to find a solution to it. All right. We, we, we have um, about eight steps to... Uh, to uh, to uh, to go through that's the um, the legislature if they would uh, to successfully impeach a president uh, the first step of course a notice of any allegation in writing alleging the gross misconduct on the part of the president uh, signed by not less than one third of the members of the national assembly both the senate and the house of representatives one third uh, and then present it to the Senate president. The second step is the Senate president uh, must within seven days serve the president and each member of the National Co Assembly with a copy of the notice of allegation. Step three, the president has a right of reply and any such statement in reply to the allegation must be served on each member of the National Assembly. Step four, within 14 days, 
uh, of the presentation of the notice to the Senate President, uh, each House of the National Assembly shall resolve by motion without any debate whether or not the allegation shall be investigated. Now, this motion needs to be passed by at least two-thirds uh, majority of all members of each House of Assembly. This fifth step is uh, if the motion fails to reach the required majority, uh, the process immediately stops and no further action uh, will be taken. However, if the required majority, if the required majority is obtained on and the motion is passed, uh, then the Senate president will, within seven days of the passing of the motion, request uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria to appoint a panel of seven persons who, in his opinion, are of unquestionable integrity to investigate the allegations. Now, the members of the panel cannot be members of any public service, legislative house, or political party. The sixth step is the panel is to report its findings within three months of being appointed. Uh, the findings will be reported to each house of the National Assembly during the proceedings of the panel. The president shall have the right to defend himself and shall also have the right to be defended by a legal practitioner of his or her choice. The seventh step is where the panel reports uh, that the allegation has not been proven. There will be no further action. However, if the report is that the allegation against the president has been proven, then the National Assembly will consider the report and a resolution for the adoption of the report shall be moved. Now, the eighth step is uh, for the resolution to be now adopted by the National Assembly. It must be supported by not less than two-thirds majority of all members of each house. Uh, once adopted, the president shall stand removed from office as from the date of the adoption of that report. So it's a long process, like you said. Um, you have a, a six weeks uh, ultimatum. That's about two months. So we look at uh, August. September, and from September, if they start it, they have to run through the processes to so the whole of September. At earliest, if the panel is to be formed, you have October, November, December. All right, so they can be done with this whole process in December. But, of course, you look at the recess of the House, Mr. Jimmy, you know, in Christmas and all that, then we're looking at maybe January. So if they are done with this process, at the earliest, it should be probably in January. You have February, March, April, May, four months before the president leaves. Should, so there's, there's still time. Final, just uh, a yes or no. If the situation gets worse in the next six weeks, should the president be impeached? Well, I think you're asking the wrong question. I am not a member of, of the assembly. So I'm not going to ask that yes or no. But look at the, how you have, uh, how long it has taken you to, to, to narrate how long it will take. Election is for uh, February and March. And then the government is supposed to hand over in May. So beyond the symbolism of the, you know, uh, uh, you know, the fact that these people are trying to maybe uh, appeal to their uh, own constituency, uh, it is not practicable that okay. um, um, an impeachment okay. will take place. Remember that the, the government will also use the uh, numbers to fill the bus of the move. All right. And then um, we may end up not having it done. So the strategic thing to do is to do what is practicable. All right. Let everybody put their hands together and rescue Nigeria from the bandits. Thank you, sir. We have um, to go. That is what I can say. We have to go. We hope that uh, there will be enough security and safety for there to be an election, at least even in Abuja, to start with. Uh, in February and March. Thank you very much for your time, Paul Ejima, Global Affairs Analyst, who's joined us live from Abuja. Please stay safe. Thank you for having me. The Naira is falling to record lows against the US dollar. When we come back, we speak with an expert as we analyze the developments of the last few hours. Please stay with us. <laughs>